I hope you enjoyed my interactive timeline just as much as I enjoyed making it. I found out a lot about Janae Aiko and I also feel like I put myself in her shoes while creating this timeline. I learned a lot about even who I am and, and what might or what might not work for me. A lot of the things that I did find was since I did do a deeper dive into who she is as an artist, I looked more in depth on her lyrics and I looked a little bit more in depth on her poetry writing. I looked more in depth on her movie, A Trip. And honestly, it really did take me on a trip. It's, an, it's a great short film that I think a lot of people should watch. So you see her progression of an artist. You start off by seeing how she was very timid and she just wanted to be an artist. She didn't really seek acceptance from a lot of people. She just wanted to be who she was. And that's what was, that's what sold her in the beginning. And as she progressed as an artist, she had a, a roadblock and it was her brother's death. And when her brother did die, she went through this whole thing of like, oh, okay, I don't want to let him go. I can't let him go. But honestly, you have to let them go to, to be able to be at peace. And that's something that she realized. And as I was watching the movie, I realized that too. So after she was able to cope a little bit with his death or let him go, she started to go more into meditation, peacefulness, chakra. She did a lot of tarot readings, as you can see in the last video. She truly went from being like someone who was kind of like all over the place emotionally to at the end someone who's really centered in who they are and, and who they believe they should be and that's something that's really admirable with Jenny Aiko and I feel like that's something that sells her even now to this day and why so many people do really enjoy listening to her music. So I really appreciate you looking at my timeline. The timeline, the process of creating the timeline was also very interesting. I did like it better in opposed to writing a actual essay. I think this was a little bit more interactive for me. Like I focused more about learning about her style instead of getting facts down. So I think this was a very good way to end off the semester. This is a very good platform to use for the project.